today, Bert in the Morning, with my colleagues Daniel O'Connell and Peter Van Sameter. Today we will be debating many things. First we will have a little game of more or less after we'll take a caller. First game of more or less. Do you think, Peter, that the Dallas Cowboys will record more or less than eight wins this season? Personally, I don't think with Tony Romo they will record more, but at the same time I don't think they'll get less. I think they'll get just around eight wins. How about you, Dan? I'm going to have to take a 9-7 and seven season for the Cowboys. Uh, I think this is finally Tony, Tony Romo's year. Uh, I think he will get into the playoffs uh, on a 9-7 and seven record. I think they'll come out on top of the NFC East. I am definitely going to have to say more here. I'm smelling a 10-6 and six or an 11-5 and five season here. New contract, fresh start. This is the year that Romo can prove everything he has. I know uh, defensive injuries have cost the Cowboys in this offseason. But Des Bryant almost led them to the playoffs last year with a broken index finger. I think he could be one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Next, Adrian Peterson, more or less than 1,500 rushing yards. Dan? Uh, I'm going to have to say less. Uh, you know, I think Adrian Peterson will have some injury problems this year. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think he's the best running back in the league, and I think it's very tough to, on his body to do what he's doing two years in a row. I would say I'd say more because I think that they have a really good offensive line anchored by Matt Khalil, and now with the additions of the two new wide receivers, um, Greg Jennings and Cordero Patterson, I think there will be more options for defenses to have to look at, and I think it will open up the field for Peterson. So I think he'll get more than 1,500 yards. I'm going to agree, Peter. I'm going to have to say about 1,600 yards with the offensive line. I think anchored by Phil Lodeholt, the great right tackle out of Oklahoma. I think that Peterson, if anyone can repeat their stellar year last year, it's going to be him. Last, more or less, Richard Sherman, the cornerback for the Seattle Seahawks, more or less than six interceptions. Dan? Uh, I'm going to have to say right around six. I think his uh, interception total will decrease a little bit just because I think teams are more aware of him now. I think he's the best cornerback in the league, better than Darrell Revis over in Tampa Bay. It will be an interesting match at week nine when they play. But, you know, I think that teams have less of an option uh, – to throw uh, against the other the other cornerback that Richard plays opposite of uh, he plays opposite of Brandon Browner and he's also a top player cornerback in the league so uh, I think they're forced to throw to Richard sometimes which will give him a decent uh, interception total. Peter, um, I think obviously I think Richard Sherman's a top five cornerback. I just don't think he'll get more than six interceptions. Agree with what Dan said about the fact that um, about the fact that they won't throw to him as much because he's because they finally know him. All right, yeah, one of the most uprising cornerbacks in the NFL. Now, to a caller, we have Patrick Lampert in Jacksonville. Patrick? Who will win the Super Bowl this year and why? Dan, you can lead things off. I'm going to start off with the New England Patriots. Uh, lost a couple players. Uh, I'm going to say Patriots over Seahawks. Uh, I don't think Russell Wilson will be able to uh, go head-to-head -head with Brady in the Super Bowl, so I'll take Patriots. Okay, uh, I'm going to go with the surprise pick this year. I'm going to say Cowboys over Patriots. I think the Cowboys will come hot off the regular season and storm through the playoffs. Romo again, coming off his contract. Des Bryant, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. If Austin can stay healthy and Witten can keep doing what he's doing, recording more than 100 targets each season, they have a great chance. I have to say the Patriots over the San Francisco 49ers. That's it, folks. Burt in the morning, here with Dan O'Connell, Peter Van Sevenzer. I'm Kirk Aharonian. Thank you.